I think the biggest challenge this year for me as the Mayor has been changing the people's vision of Rotherham. I think we've had negative uh, publicity in the past and I wanted to change that and I've done everything that I can to promote Rotherham and to raise our profile because we are a good borough. We've got lots and lots of good people and I think that they needed representing in the way that they should have been and that's to say what great people they are. I've always been a community person because I, I just love people and I think that if we all helped each other then we'd all do well. So for every one person that you help, that, that person goes and helps somebody else and it, it's just a lovely thing to do. So community work is something that I believe in and I think that I've hopefully done it really well. But other people will let me know that I'm sure. <laughs> Meeting people every day, I've got to be honest, it's absolutely amazing, it, it's, it's fantastic. I love people and everybody's got a different story to tell and those stories can be so interesting and some of them are really sad. I've met people throughout my mayorship, I'm, sadly I met a young girl who was seven years old that died in Bluebell Woods and I'm really close to the family but I'm really pleased to have met the family and I've discussed so many different things with Alex before she passed away. And she gave me a lot of inspiration that, you know, I'll have that forever. So meeting people is the best part of the job. This year I've had three charities. They're all close to my heart. So I've got Alzheimer's Society because my nan passed away with Alzheimer's. And I found that very, very difficult to watch my mum, how the way it affected all the family. And I was with my nan when she passed away and I was holding her hand. And I'll never, ever forget that. And it was so hard. And I've got the Autistic Society because our son's autistic and I can say firsthand what it's like to be a carer of someone with autism. My son is 12, he looks 15 but he only acts like an 8 year old and when, pe when he does something of a, that an 8 year old child would do, people look at him and they say things like, what are you letting him behave like that for? And it, It's so sad because they don't understand and I wish they'd ask me. I think that having autistic Autism is one of my charities. There's so many parents out there and it's, sometimes it can be so difficult and you feel like nobody else knows what it's like. So to be able to raise the profile of a charity, it might get other people talking about autism. And if they're talking about autism, then at least they're talking about it rather than just having the odd child. Or Guide Dogs for Blind, my third charity, in no particular order of my charities, but that one's the last charity that I... Uh, I've got down on my um, profile and that one because my friend she's uh, registered blind she's only 42 and she's awaiting her guide dog at the moment and my consort Alex he's partially sighted because he had an accident a mining accident so he's he's on he's got a glass eye actually so he's found it quite he's found it quite amusing that I've got guide dogs for the blind as <laughs> one of my charities so, and I, I could talk passionately about all my charities, so that's why I thought it was important to pick something that I knew a lot about. And I've seen how people have developed with eye conditions, and how it's gradually got worse over the years, and I thought if I could help raise some money for guide dogs. This is not a charity that I believe has ever been picked before by a Mayor of Rotherham, so I thought it was quite important that I did pick a charity that has not had as much attention as some of the other charities. I've been to uh, just short of 650 engagements and I've still got two weeks left <laughs> and every engagement I've been to has been wonderful. I've never gone to one and thought, oh, that's not good. If there's three people there, if there's 30 people there, if there's been 600 people there, it, it's wonderful. But to be invited to the places that you do get invited to is an honour and it's something that I'll never forget. I've seen parts of the country that I didn't ever think I'd get to see. I went to France and I've been to China, I've been very, very lucky. Um, I'm just so pleased to have had that opportunity. I'm bursting with pride for everybody in Rotherham because it's been wonderful to see everybody and all the volunteers we've got in Rotherham, it's amazing. I have lots of moments from being the Mayor. I've got I haven't got any particular one that stands out as my best because they've all been wonderful. But meeting Alex White, who sadly passed away, that, that was a good moment because the time that she did have, she gave it her everything. And she knew she was ill. She knew she passed away in Bluebell Woods on the 5th of November. And she knew. She knew. And to speak to somebody like that, that was really, really inspiring. 
I went to open a playhouse for her, a little summer house in the garden, and I used to go and see her outside my mayorship. I didn't, I didn't do it for publicity, I did it because I care. But that was an amazing moment. I loved meeting Alex. She was a real highlight of my year. But I've been to lots of engagements and they've all stood out for different reasons. But she was a particular person that has always got a place in my heart, I think. And it sounds really corny when I say that, but it's true. I think the thank you to Rotherham has to be that it is team mayor. There's one person as the mayor, but it's a team effort. My consort for putting up with me for the last 12 months. My husband for forever having people coming in the house to bring chains in, to take chains out. The mayor's attendants, they're all fantastic. I've got on with them so well, I've made some great friends. You know, the girls in the office that run round, the catering staff who do amazing food, and it, it's a team effort. Mayor is one person, but it's team mayor. And I've got the charities committee and Joanne who's on the charities committee. And there's loads of people out there that I'd be a list as long as my arm if I thanked everybody, but there's hundreds and hundreds of people I want to thank. And thank Rotherham for having me and putting up with me for 12 months. <laughs>